Hello and welcome to the 741 channel. Thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to take a look at a new configuration for my POTA antenna, which you could also use on field day I suppose, using these military surplus fiberglass poles that I picked up at a recent ham fest. So I've only got one in my hand right now, but I ended up getting eight of these at the ham fest for 20 bucks. Okay, so each of these poles is about four feet long. And they're just made out of fiberglass here. They're just fiberglass tubes, really. And then on one end of each tube, there's a plastic coupling that just links the tubes together like that. Now they are kind of loose fitting in there, but they are somewhat rigid. The guy that I bought these from told me that if you want to kind of tighten these up a little bit, you can put hose clamps around here to hold things together. But I think for my application, they're gonna be just fine the way they are. And in fact, I'd kind of rather have them be able to come apart quickly and easily so that I can throw them in the back of my truck. So the vendor was also selling these plastic bases with the poles, and you can see this coupling just kind of fits in there. So you could kind of use the poles with these, but you'd still need to anchor these down somehow, either with some weights or some kind of stakes into the ground. I picked a couple up because they were only two bucks a piece, but I don't think I'm gonna use them, at least not for this antenna. So if you haven't seen my previous videos on this antenna configuration, there'll be a couple of links down below that you can click on. This is basically just a 40 and 20 meter linked dipole. So this of course is the center insulator and this is made from an 88 cent Walmart cutting board that I just kind of cut this pattern into. When I'm not using the antenna, I wind up the legs onto either side here for storage. And then you can see here I have a short coax pigtail and you can see I just use a barrel connector to connect to a longer piece of coax to go off to the radio. And you can see I've just got this attached at the top with one bolt so this can kind of pivot around a little bit if it needs to. So here's a look at one of the links for reference. You can see that right now I've got it connected so the antenna will continue and work in the 40 meter configuration like this. If I want to run 20 meters I just disconnect this link and let it hang and then this becomes the 20 meter element but this is still here to structurally hold it together. So what we're looking at here is the end of the 40 meter leg. You can see I've got a short insulator also made from scrap from that cutting board and then I've got it tied off to this piece of orange paracord and then that just ties off to a hole that I drilled in the top of the end pole there. So I'm also borrowing these pieces of rebar that I used on my original configuration. This one here is about two feet long or so and it's pounded about one foot into the ground with about one foot sticking up, give or take. And what you'll see in a minute is I'll just take the center pole and drop it over this piece of rebar. And then over here at the end, you can see I've got another piece of rebar, also borrowed from the original configuration. These are a little bit longer. They were about three feet long or so. Again, pounded in about one foot into the ground. And then I'll just slip the pole over the rebar like I'm doing with the center one. So I'm gonna set this up so you guys can see how quickly it goes up. All right, so I've got the center pole here. I'm just gonna kind of walk this up and then slip it over this piece of rebar. And as you can see, it'll kind of stay there on its own. Now we'll just put the ends out. So I will mention that the first time that I put this up, what I did is I put the center pole up first. And then what I did is tie the rope off on to the end of the side pole here. And then I just kind of walked it out until I had a reasonable amount of attention on the antenna wire. And that's where I kind of marked to put the rebar and then I kind of pounded it in that way and then I'm able to just slip this over the rebar like that and I've got a good amount of tension on the wire. Okay so I'm going to just do the same thing here. Slip this over the rebar and we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay that's pretty much it. The antenna's up and ready to go. Okay, you can see I've got a length of about 30 feet or so of coax here ready to go. So let's hook this up to my radio and make a few contacts. Okay, let's see if we can make a couple of contacts here. I will mention I've got the radio set to 50 watts right now. You are dead. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Uh, November 1 channel, can you come back please? November 1, November Uniform Golf. Uniform Golf, Roger. 
QSL, QSL, you are 59 into Connecticut, 001. You are 555555 in the Clearfield County, PA, CLE. QSL, thanks for the contact and good luck. Uh, can you tell me a number in your state, please? State is Connecticut, Charlie Tango, and serial number 001. Roger that, number one in Connecticut. Thanks for the contact, 73. 73, good luck, and one NUG. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Roger, November 1, November Uniform Golf. From November 3, Uniform Papa Delta. You are number 279 or 279. In the county is Mercer, Mike, Echo, Romeo, Mercer, QSL. QSL, thank you for the contact. You are number 002 into Connecticut, Charlie Tango. Thank you, 7-3 and good luck in the contest, N1 and UG. Okay, looks like it's working pretty good. We made two contacts there in the uh, Pennsylvania QSO party and uh, just on my portable antenna and the BioNO battery. So I think we're good to go. So here's what the antenna looks like when it's all packed up. You can see I've just got it wound around the center insulator. I left it bolted to this pole, but I could very easily take that off if I wanted to. So you can see that the center insulator and its pole the other seven poles and the rebar all just kind of fit in the back of the SUV here. Okay, so that's pretty much gonna wrap things up for my POTA antenna upgrade using these military surplus poles. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment or subscribe, feel free to do that as well. And if you'd like to support my channel in another way, please consider visiting my Amazon store, which you'll find linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.